Well, joining us now on the line is a family law expert from Tyndall Gas Bentley, a great lawyer and a partner there. Good morning, Jane Miller. Good morning. Is this true? Is there just a massive prevalence of people coming to use your services in January more than any other month? Absolutely. Uh, and in fact, it's starting to be coined the divorce month for family <gasps> lawyers. Jane, what is it about January that pushes people to the brink? Oh, Joe, I reckon it's probably a couple of things. On the really simple level, I think people are probably reluctant to leave a marriage in say November and December if they've got Christmas coming up or they might have kids going through exams Mm -hmm. but more so I think as well you've then got those people that are inspired by the start of a new year to reflect upon their lives and what they could perhaps do uh, to make some positive change in their lives so I think that that certainly makes people consider whether leaving a marriage is the right thing for them with a new start for the new year. Who broaches you first mainly? Is it more males, more husbands or more females, the wives? In my experience, we see more females probably because people will often come and see us before the separation Mm. or shortly after. And Mm. women tend to be pretty switched on to being proactive to getting advice, seeking help early and then, you know, putting any advice into place. Jane, you must hear some horror stories in that as well. Do you have to be careful not to sometimes play a little bit of a psychologist in your role? To be honest, I think there's a wannabe psychologist in me. (laughs) That's why I'm a family lawyer. Um, Look, you can't practice family law and just look purely at the the legal issues. Mm. It's really important that we look after our clients by trying to take a holistic view of what's going on for them and then when possible referring on to them to the right services that they need whether it's a psychologist or a mortgage broker or a financial yes. planner so yep. we try to take a really team based approach when we help clients. You do have to be a bit of a psychologist. I remember when I was going through my divorce I'd go into my lawyer who I didn't know from Adam and I'd just mm. bawl my eyes out <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand how you have to sort of help people on that compassionate level Jane. That's really the rewarding part of the job and of course you know coming back to, to a separation in January. Some of these separations have come about because somebody's conduct has been extremely questionable yes. over that period of time. You know, the office Christmas party or oh, our New Year's yeah. Eve. Joan, are people in your experience becoming bolder and making the decision? So is it becoming more common that they, they will come in rather than perhaps try and push through it like they may have in the past? Look, I think that's right. I think that people are very willing to face up to the problems. Divorce is nowhere near a taboo that it once was. Mm. Uh, of course, a lot of the relationships now are de facto relationships. I think sometimes there's a willingness to leave a de facto relationship without feeling perhaps as invested as in a marriage. So, you know, the rise of de facto relationships means we're seeing a lot more people. Hey, just on de facto relationships, just for anyone out there that might find themselves living with someone, how long do they have to live with them, Jane, before they know they've got to give half the house away? You're certainly in trouble and need some legal advice after two years of cohabitation Mm -hmm. uh, or have a child together. So you could be together for for only a couple of months and have a kid together and qualify. In fact, there's plenty of case law now that says you don't even actually have to share the one resident to be considered a de facto couple. Jane, just finally too, if anyone is in a bit of a dilemma in their relationship, is there any sort of advice you could give them if they're thinking about a split perhaps? The best advice is to get advice early. Mm. We see lots of people that haven't yet left a relationship and then they can go into their decision making process being really well informed. Well Jane, thank you so much for joining us. Seeing as it's January, you better get back to work because you've probably got a massive (laughs) load of cases on your desk. (laughs) The phone's ringing hot right now. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you very much. Jane Miller, a partner there with Tyndall Gaskin Bentley, talking about the prevalences of divorces and splits during January and February. Thanks Jane.